मैं गोड इन्वॉल्व ऑफ यू अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ट्रस्ट अभाव फाउंडेशन की ओर से मैं घनश्याम तिवारी फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूँ मोइंग ऑन फॉर टूडे फिफ्टी फर्स्ट वनडे वेबिनार साइबर क्राइम एक्सपर्सन साइबर बुलिंग एंड सेक्सुअल हरासमेंट वी हैव विथ अस आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर मैम मिस मनोरा नाजमी साहू मैम एडवोकेट एंड टीचर इन लॉ फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश मैम आई वेलकम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अभाव फाउंडेशन इन ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट यस पार्टिसिपेंट आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा सबसे पहले आप हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल को लाइक कर लें और सब्सक्राइब कर लें ताकि और भी आपके सांसदों तक के फ्रेंड्स तक के ये वीडियो पहुँच जाए और आप सभी को जैसा कि पता है हर एक सेशन के बाद में छोटा सा क्वेश्चन आंसर का सेशन होता है उसके लिए आपको कमेंट्स बॉक्स में क्वेश्चन टाइप करने होंगे उसको मैं रीड करके मैम तक के पास आके उसका आंसर देने का प्रयास करेंगे लास्ट में हम एक अटेंडेंस फॉर्म और अटेंडेंस कोड शेयर करते हैं लिंक शेयर करते हैं उसमें आपको अटेंडेंस फिल करनी होगी तो प्लीज मेक श्योर कि आप सभी अटेंडेंस फॉर्म फिल कर लें ताकि हम आपको टाइमली सर्टिफिकेट प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट फॉर गेस्ट स्पीकर मैम प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन वेलकम मैम ओके थैंक यू सो मच एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरी I am Monira Najmi Jahan currently working as a senior lecturer in law at East West University Bangladesh besides that uh, I am also a convener of the research cell of Cyber Crime Awareness Foundation so I am working with the issue of cyber crime criminology and laws uh, since uh, many times so as you can see from the uh, PowerPoint presentation that the topic of today is cyber crime, and we are going to. I am going to discuss uh, very specifically about some of the issues of cyber crimes. Uh, these are sextortion, cyber harassment, and cyber bullying. I know there are other lots of crimes uh, that has been committed via the internet through the computer in the cyber world. However, uh, due to the time. Uh, restraint i am going to discuss only this three issues and i'm not saying that i will be giving a thorough presentation rather i would like to discuss these uh, serious issues that are happening frequently with us and in fact i am myself also a victim of cyber crime so let's start the discussion today uh, so the contents that i will be covered today is uh, the definitions of the cyber crime and the uh, connotations and contents of sexual harassment what is cyber bullying what is extortion which is a new word comparatively in the criminal justice system and the laws regarding these crimes uh, both in india and bangladesh while working on this issue i have found that there are some differences uh, regarding the laws in india and bangladesh and uh, i'll be discussing about some criminological aspects for which people are committing this crime so i'll be uh, you know understanding uh, the reasons for which people are committing this crime and some preventive measures and finally will be the, some of the um, presentation or the discussion so firstly uh, as i'm saying that uh, cyber crime is actually a broad area there are thousands of things which are connected with this uh, at this present era or at this present time we cannot even think a single minute without uh, the internet or without our mobile phones uh, the first thing that we usually do in the morning is to check our phone the uh, social networking sites apps emails in fact we read the news uh, from the internet or from the mobile phones another thing the last thing we do usually do in the night is also checking our uh, social networking sites so we can see that the that we replaced this phone and so social networking sites uh, thoroughly in our life that every relationship everything is actually connected with the device uh, if we are talking about the um, introductory part then uh, in 
due to corona pandemic we all know that the educational system is absolutely depending on internet students are doing their classes taking their exams homework everything is uh, doing by the internet in fact the students from the play group or even nursery are also using uh, mobile phone gadgets tablets internet to conduct their classes so from the very beginning a child to a person who is um, like um, 60 70 80 years, 80 years old are also connected in the social networking side and the internet uh, so people irrespective of their age and gender are using mobile phones and social networking sites so if we are talking about the definition of cyber crime then i would say uh, according to thomas and lauder Cybercrime is those computer-mediated activities that are either illegal or considered illicit by certain parties that conducted through global electronic networks. So, according to this definition, if we dissect the definition, then we can find some of the important elements that are that uh, this is a computer-mediated crime, illicit activities illegal acts and it has to be done through internet and gadgets so internet is the basic thing and computer mediated so it can be a telephone it can be a computer it can be a atm machine or any electronic devices so people are committing this illicit felony uh, where the cyber crime there are thousands of crimes as i am saying that uh, we can do, uh, you know, like uh, fraud, uh, trafficking and pornography and the child pornography is um, recently very common and then uh, infringement of intellectual property, copyright breach, uh, stealing identities, which is another important thing that nowadays people are using other people identity. For example, uh, someone opened a Facebook account on my name or using my photo. So this is, um, you know, something uh, they are pretending to be a person who they are not. And then um, violating privacy. This is really important uh, as um, when um, I'm sharing anything on the internet or in any social networking sites. And then people are taking my information and using them in illicit way or in uh, a manner which is not permitted. So actually, um, when any person, uh, you know, committed a crime through using a device or internet, then we are usually calling it a cyber crime. So this is not something a rocket science or not something really difficult. This is really simple. And um, there are every sector in which internet and uh, computer or um, uh, the, um, the sectors are being used. In fact, um, as we are only focusing on certain crimes, however, there are crimes, for example, uh, corporation crime, where many people are actually organized and uh, transnational organized crime where nationals from different nations or country are actually um, organized and they are committing uh, several crimes like um, uh, you know stealing money from any bank and then uh, pornography and then human trafficking also all these are committing uh, the traditional crimes are now uh, turning into a shape that it has been uh, committing through the internet nowadays so after the definition um, i would like to move on to the part that what are the motivations by which people are committing cyber crime so i found five motivations however these all are not suitable for the three crimes that are sextortion harassment or and bullying however these are the five common types of motivations for which people are usually committing cyber crime now the first and foremost uh, reason or motivation is monetary profit and this is actually very simple and straightforward that who yes uh, 
राइट सेयर के फुल एक्सिमाइज करेंगे लाइट्स को फुल स्क्रीन या नॉन स्टॉकेट ओके सो एज आई एम टॉकिंग लाइक दिस मोटिवेशन द फर्स्ट वन इज द मॉनिटरी प्रॉफिट सो people are actually committing cyber crime uh, because they want to earn money and they want to get a profit by this so their desire to be rich in short time uh, motivates them to conduct cyber crimes for example um, atm card hacking or uh, bank account hacking um, online cheating so these are the crimes that people are usually doing for monetary profit in fact the term extortion that blackmailing someone uh, by uh, giving them a threat to spread their intimate pictures uh, into the internet people are actually extort money from them the second motivation or reason is political motive now as i am saying the all the reasons are not suitable for our discussion however political motive is one of the fundamental reason because of which people are committing cyber crime as we can see um, um specifically in our indian subcontinent we can see that uh, you know the opposition or other um, different sorts of political groups actually spread uh, different propaganda against the opposition to humiliate them to create an uh, um unrest situation among the society so actually they are using internet and websites to spread their uh, propaganda or their uh, ill motives then the important motivation which is actually uh, relating to our discussion that is sexual impulses now uh, sexual impulses is a deviant behavior which is illegal and it is considered harmful obviously uh, for some people um, to view uh, porn sites fulfill their immoral desire and needs so we all know that the porn pornography industry is one of the major um, earning source for many countries and many uh, many societies so and there are lots of high paid uh, porn stars who are doing this so there are people who actually uh, uses pornography to fulfill their sexual desire which is not uh, harmful until and unless they are making pornography for their livelihood they are making pornography by attacking another person or by using another person without their permission the fourth one is another important aspect or motivator that is entertainment so uh, some people commit cyber crime out of their entertainment uh it's like uh, we can think they how can someone uh how can someone fraud another person or how can someone harm another person out of entertainment i would like to give an example uh, that recently uh sensity uh one uh, site they have uh made some photos of uh, some celebrities uh dated back or sometime ago you know people are um create photomorphing that they are create fake uh, pictures or images of one person but with the advent of technology now people are creating videos of people uh, so the thing is that uh, in a pornography video they are um, by editing they are taking the uh, face of any celebrity or popular person to the body of the porn star and they are making the videos in a bare eye it is really difficult to identify or to take a conclusion that whether the, the, these videos are real or not so um starting from michelle obama to mark zuckerberg and many other um celebrities and important personalities are being harassed by these videos and there are also some celebrities of hollywood and bollywood they are usually are uh, harassed and bullied uh, by these videos so uh, there is a app 
called deep fake bot by which this video are created so and they are actually distributed through a social app social site app that is called telegram so when the person who actually does this was uh, questioned that why you are doing this he replied that this is a fun i'm not hurting anyone so i'm doing this out of my out of my entertainment so yes because of entertainment people are actually committing cyber crimes last one is emotional motivators so when i'm talking about uh, motivations uh, behind the cyber crime anger comes first so there are many reasons because of which a person can be frustrated or depressed so breakup could be one reason divorce and then um, you know someone may be fired from his uh, company or office so they are what they are doing the out of emotional disturbance they are actually committing cyber crime uh, they take the revenge out of someone by using the internet they may create a false facebook account or false instagram or something by the name of the people and um, by the name of that person and spreading false rumors um, de uh, demean content uh, in the name of that person and they try to defend the person uh, in the society so emotional motivators are also the reason behind cyber crime okay so um now i'm going to discuss about the common um, crimes relating to the three important aspects um, which we, we are covering today the first one is cyber defamation so defamation is a crime which is here in the society for long long ago uh, traditional defamation is actually defined in section 499 of the penal code both in india and bangladesh uh you know sometimes ago or uh, when the internet was not so common and uh, available uh, what people were doing they are actually uh, in written or in words spoken um, out by something which actually uh, harm the reputation of a person and the right thinking people of the society actually think that the people actually done something like that so it's really easy to defame someone uh, nowadays um, because people are so uh, you know uh, people are so busy nowadays that they don't have the time to check the authentic authenticity of any news uh, we can see that um, um, in the uh, murder of uh, sorry in the suicide case of uh, actor sushant singh rajput many people were you know charged and many and then many people's name came over and um, some people actually may not have any uh, link with this incident however they were um, thoroughly bullied harassed and defamed by the common and general people so defamation is a common crime that is committed uh, in the cyber world and then comes uh, the photomorphing photomorphing i have already talked about this that um, editing through images uh, making alteration and uh, creating fake pictures so uh, we can see that many times these celebrities are actually uh, were victim of photomorphing but now uh due to the uh, availability of pictures of common women and girls they are also victimized through photomorphing and uh, these things are doing so uh, cleanly that it is very difficult to identify uh, whether th this is a real or fake one only forensic lab can identify the authenticity of this uh, edited photos and by these uh, edited photos or photomorphing the offenders uh, what usually they do they actually threat the victim that uh, if you don't um, give me money or if you don't listen to me then i will spread your photos i will take your reputation your family's reputation so this is actually connecting to cyber cyber defamation so all of these elements are interconnected 
this deformation uh, via photomorphing or pornography so all these are connected actually and the girl or women or even a man whose photo has been edited um, may be um, may have to go through lots of mental trauma and they actually become a very uh, easy prey of the offender and then cyber pornography so uh, both in india and bangladesh and not only the india and bangladesh even in the developed countries also usa they are doing lots of lots of works in uh, cyber pornography that uh, how and why uh, the innocent people are actually um, become a prey or become victimized of this cyber pornography. Uh, this is actually, uh, you know, uh, many people are um, went to adult person with their own consent, uh, created a video uh, which is not, which should not be disclosed privately. They are doing this with their own uh, consent. However, when a person um, any one of them actually without the consent of the another one spread this uh, video into the cyber world or internet or any uh, computer or any uh, device uh, then actually the problem occurs and uh, recently the racket of uh, pornography is become another virus like corona because they are targeting the minor people because the minors are more easy to be controlled, more easy to be deceived um, rather than an uh, adult one. So by this pornography, uh, people are earning more and more money and that's why there are lots of people who are actually uh, learning hacking or learning uh, illicit uh, or illegal activities so that they can invest their all of their skills into this crime and they can uh, earn more money or they can get profit and now um, talking about fishing fishing is something like this is a fraudulent crime for example um, maybe a content or message or anything uh, pop out in your device or in your social networking site or even through the um, you know apps that um, put your information put your personal information your uh, birth date your full name father's name mother's name and uh, you know uh, by clicking the ID um, or something it actually uh, goes through into your device and took all the information necessary your personal information and they actually uh, theft your identity and then they committed the crime so it has been seen that in USA a boy actually uh, through fishing uh, victimized nearly two 20, 200 uh, girls and that they he uh, installed uh, some malware into the computer of those girls and the he can actually monitor them uh, what the girls are doing in their room and all so this is really uh, a dangerous one that fishing because by um, because of this not only money but our privacy are also infringing well now talking about um, sexual harassment uh, cyber bullying and sextortion so um, just uh, give me give me a minute one minute Well, uh, sexual harassment is a crime uh, that is actually committed against a person. Uh, it, it, it's not in the physical space, rather it is in the virtual space now as we are talking about cyber crime. So, uh, without your consent, when someone actually, uh, it can be happen that he is sending or someone is sending you offensive uh, messages or offensive pictures 
and they are taking your pictures and using them in uh, illegal way or ill mannered then these are actually sexual harassment uh, there was a case uh, that I was going to be discussed uh, later on, but uh, um, I just want to mention the absolute judgment of the case here so that we can relate what is sexual harassment. Uh, in a court, when a person actually took a photo of a couple and posted them with the uh, obscene uh, caption, the court has passed his judgment that this is actually a sexual harassment. So, um, we can uh, understand by this that this is a very sensitive topic and uh, it's uh, really easy to uh, harass someone in the virtual world also. So, um, talking about sexual harassment, there are actually four categories of sexual harassment. Uh, number one is non-consensual sharing of intimate images and videos. So, um, it's when a person uh, private images or photos has been leaked or spread without his consent or uh, the video has been uh, distributed without his consent or knowledge then we can uh, categorize this here that is non-consensual sharing of intimate images and videos number two is exploitation uh, coercion and threats so we all know about maybe maybe someone might don't have know about the concept of coercion coercion is putting pressure upon someone and uh, uh, doing uh, by which you can control another person's will and uh, by threatening that person you can extort money um, you, you can extort his uh, willingness to do something or doing any contract with you so uh, by this you can threat someone and you can uh, extort uh, whatever you want from them uh, any illegal thing which uh, he or she might not have been done if the threat was not uh, putting up on them um, it's something like uh, similar to blackmailing to you know extort more sexual image images from that person the number third one is uh, sexualized bullying. Sexualized bullying is when uh, a community or society uh, in a whole makes it in their practice that it is very common and usual to remark someone or to portray someone like this uh, whenever, you know, um, you someone open up the comment section of any celebrity when they are uh, giving any photos or any uh, videos of them you can see that um, there there were many demean comments over there which is uh, uh, people are taking them uh, some people are considered them as funny however they, these are not funny and people uh, might think that this is our right this is our freedom of expression uh, we can say whatever we want but the thing is not like that you can you cannot personally attack someone you cannot make someone uncomfortable by your opinion so uh, when a community when a group of person actually feel that they are entitled to say whatever they want so that becomes sexualized bullying that i can uh, comment uh, in anyone's op upon anyone's clothing or their style or their physical structure or whatever they are so uh, this this is the third category and the final one is unwanted sexual attention so um when someone actually sending you uh, sexual requested uh, and uh, some poem it could be some poem some song or even um, something images or something which is not comfortable or, or which shouldn't be sending to someone and by sending this you want that person to uh, give you the permission of doing something with you uh, there are some person who just send you a friend request and by talking one or two days or by uh, chatting with some um, live chatting they are offering you something uh, to be very close with you 
so this is unwanted sexual attention which might not be wanted by many of the people but these people are uh, doing this uh, because their intention is not good and they are actually trying to victimize the person so sexual harassment is actually interlinked with cyber bullying uh, cyber bullying is um, it, this is not actually only about um, sexual attack rather cyber bullying can be um, done uh, against the men also i'm not saying that these are all committed only against the women or girls but yes the statistics shows that the women are and girls are more victimized uh, by sexual harassment cyber bullying and extortion but uh, it is also true that men are also victimized by this crime so cyber bullying is something uh, like it's it's more about trolling uh, you are posting something and uh, you know people have started bullying you uh, for example um, recently uh, we all know about the all rounder sakib al hasan uh, which is a fantastic cricketer of bangladesh um, and world ranking um, batsman and bowler so when he or her uh, his wife published a photo of their um, four or five years daughter people are actually putting bad comments on that on that small girl little girl and when a uh, recent is akibal hasan actually put uh, his and uh, his wife's photo uh, people are uh, attacking them uh, because of the photo and um, you know uh, using bad words demean words against them so this is actually cyber bullying you are mentally tra traumatized a person um, which you shouldn't do and uh, because of cyber bullying statistics shows that in bangladesh also uh, because of sexual harassment bullying and sextortion according to the uh, national uh, women lawyers association of bangladesh uh, nearly 11 women or and girls uh, are committing suicide uh, because it's a huge mental pressure uh, not about cyber bullying but because of sexual harassment and sextortion uh these people are committing these women and girls are committing uh suicide uh also uh us statistics shows that men are also try to commit suicide because they are marital life or their family li life are um, hugely hampered because of these crimes so cyber bullying and um, cyber harassment are nearly um, you know similar but uh, the basic difference is, is uh, you can bully anyone uh, out of anything and um, um, you can attack someone through the religion uh, you can uh, put some comment upon his belief uh, the way he is talking the way he is uh, um, the way he is living his life anything so uh, this is another form of a cyber crime which is very common nowadays and which and, and this is also i think a very um, common with the girls because whenever a girl put any photos in the insta or in the facebook or anywhere people and men are um, on a group attack the girl and they are they think that it's their right to comment on them uh there were some statistics but uh i didn't show this in the powerpoint presentation because i think this will make the presentation or discussion very lengthy however um in bangladesh uh, the work done by the cyber crime awareness foundation uh they have uh, conducted a survey upon some victims and uh, they are monitoring the crimes uh, and they make a report in 2019 based on 2018 and they found that the rate of um cyber crime relating to women and girls are increasing day by day and most of them are uh, you know uh, the image based cyber bullying or image based cyber harassment that their pictures are being used in some somewhere that shouldn't be used 
and um, they are photomorphing are being uh, done by them so these are the things that is very common and now i am going to talk about the point of sextortion so sextortion is a new word um, traditional crime if i am talking about sextortion then uh, you know uh, sextortion was actually uh, two words that has been joined together the words were sex and um, extortion so uh, that you are extorting someone that if you are not going to listen to me if you are not going to uh, do the thing that i am saying you to do then i'll uh, i will uh, uh, spread your photos or i will uh, make your life miserable so um, in the traditional crime what what people were doing they were actually a person who has the authority over someone for example it has been found that some judges are actually um, threatening the accused that if you are not giving me sexual pleasure in exchange uh, then i will not delivering the judgment upon you so uh, in fact one uh, judge who was dealing the refugee related issues uh, he actually uh, offered three men to have sexual relationship with him and because of them uh, because of this he was uh, five years in prison and the judge was from canada so we have this uh, you know we have this example with us where we can see that people who have the authority in fact this is really common in uh, today's world also uh, in offline or in physical space uh, the bosses or the person the teachers who have a fiduciary relationship with their students are offering them um, sex in exchange of good grades or the uh, bosses are using these for promotion and then for money clearance and whatever whatever the reasons people are doing this this is uh, the new terminology of sextortion is different from the traditional one is that uh, this sextortion is committed in the online or in the internet space so uh, the sextortion is that um, i have your intimate photos i have your video so if you don't give me money or if you don't give me more sexual content or if you don't uh, listen to me then i will spread your photos to the internet or i'll send these photos to your families your spouse your home your office to everywhere school colleges so this is something to control the victim offender uses this weapon now this extortion can also be divided under four category number 1 is uh, minor uh, minor based cyber extortion here yeah, what happens the offender targets minor people as i have said earlier the minors are more vulnerable uh they are in a certain period of their life where they enjoy adventures where they like to meet new people so they use the uh, online platform to know uh, new people and to date them online so here the offender has to do a bit hard work because he has to gain the uh, faith of the minor and then he actually uh, convince the minor that i will be with you for whole life i won't do any harm to you you please send me your note pictures or your um, in a picture uh, in a compromise situation uh, i will send you mine and by by you know uh, by this rapport and by gaining the confidence of the minor the offender actually you uh, know receives uh, many pictures from the minor so this is how once they get the picture or video they started uh, threatening the person or the minor that uh, now you will either give me money or you will send me more of your pictures not only that uh, it has been seen that these uh, minors 
were forced to send pictures of their younger siblings. So this is really serious and this is really disgusting at the same time that how these minors were uh, exploited by the offender just with a single photo or a video. Uh, in case of minor based sextortion, the male childs are also victimized. What happens to them? Uh, the offender already have a recorded uh, video of a minor girl they just put the video and the boy on the other side thought that he is interacting with the same girl same age girl so he is giving your his uh, note pictures or his uh, uh, private pictures to the um, girl but he doesn't know that he is giving actually the pictures to a person who is the other side of the computer then the offender does the same thing with the minor child whether he extort money from him or he he will take more intimate and more uh, sexual uh, content from that person second one is a uh, cyber crime uh, cyber extortion here the offender doesn't um, do anything for the biasness just like the minor based oh, i forgot to mention one thing in the minor based cyber extortion pedophiles were there so what are pedophiles? Pedophiles are those persons whose sexual desire are uh, roaming around the child. So all of their desire, passion, sexual feelings are actually for our children. So they are only interested in the sexual content of a child. So unlike the uh, cyber crime, cyber extortion, here the offender uh, targeted both minor and adult irrespective of gender based and they does this only because of money or they can only send to give me another content of yours your family members and the victim actually drowned in a dark world by the threat number three is uh, intimate partner violence intimate partner violence is here the offender and the, um, the victim know each other because maximum time the partner the spouse or the boyfriend actually does this it has been found that uh, a british woman when joined in a uh, police force his boyfriend actually threatened to spread her intimate photos if she doesn't leave her job and uh, started living with him so uh, even in Bangladesh, it is surprising that husbands are actually uh, spreading the intimate videos and photos of his wife into the internet. There are several reasons behind this because uh, they want to control the women uh, that if you don't listen to me or if you do something which I don't like, then I'll spread these videos. And uh, now a recent trend has started that... Uh, if the woman or wife doesn't agree to give him the uh, dowry, then the man actually pressurize him that if you don't give me the money from your family, then I'll spread your uh, these videos and I'll tarnish the reputation of your family. So here the offender's main objective is to control the victim by always putting a mental pressure upon the victim. And the last one is transnational cyber crime, uh, sorry, transnational cyber extortion. Here, um, the racket is uh, organized, running by an organized group. Recently in Bangladesh, the uh, CTTC, that is Cyber Crime uh, Transnational Unit, DMP, Dhaka Metropolitan Police, Bangladesh, they received a uh, email from a American minor girl that she has been threatened by a boy who is living in Bangladesh. They were um, they met in a social networking site. They exchanged uh, sexually uh, exploited or uh, they exchanged some uh, private photos and now the boy is asking money from that girl. So after rigorous eight months of uh, investigation, the CTTC finally 
successfully able to catch the offender and they found three private university students of Bangladesh who are actually working on this. Uh, they, are, they were also a member of an organized group. They actually sell these photos to foreign countries to earn money and uh, after that there were other um, some uh, students and then uh, a lots of couple were also arrested that they are they are doing this they are only focusing on the minors and uh, extracting pictures from them and selling them for a higher price and the in the fourth category it is worthy to mention that uh, men were also victimized for cyber extortion because out of adventure or out of boredom they may exchange some photos uh, with a person but later the offender threatened them to send them a huge amount of money and because of losing the family or the wife or reputation men are uh, giving uh, a huge amount of money or a handsome money to the offenders. Uh, sextortion is such an offense uh, for which the victim are always blamed because uh, in the Indian subcontinent we are uh, our mentality has not been changed uh, for uh, many reasons. Uh, we are uh, because of religious and cultural reasons we are very conservative still now so we can see whenever any um, sexual content or any private photo or video has been leaked in the internet the first finger which has been put before is against the victim people are always eager to blame the victim victim blaming is very common all are shouting against the victim that why do you do this if you don't click the picture or if you don't make the video or if you don't go with your boyfriend then maybe this content will not be created so uh, because of the fear of tarnishing the reputation of the family and uh, herself also uh, victims are uh, suffering for many many days and um, the mental pressure cannot be seen um, because in case of rape, uh, it's it's easy for a victim to say that I have been raped. Then uh, people will say, so, uh, okay, this activity has been committed against your uh, consent. But when it's a sextortion, when it's a pornography image or video it has been leaked, then people are always ready to blame the victim that it's your fault. And because of this, you are in a situation, so you should suffer. You deserve this. And um, like rape also, in case of sextortion, these videos uh, has been checked by many people. Uh, firstly, it has been checked by the inquiry officer and then the advocates and then the judges. So in different, and of course in the forensic lab. So in different stages, the victim has to be victimized again and again. So secondary victimization is there. And because of the fear, this fear, that she, her reputation will be also tarnishing and will be at stake at different stages of criminal justice system, many people uh, keep their mouth shut and suffer silently. And uh, theories. As I, I have said that I'll be discussing on the socio-legal issues of uh, these crimes. So I have, there are lots of lots of theories, but I have only put those theories which are really connected with sextortion, uh, then bullying and uh, with the uh, uh, harassment case. So first one is social learning and self-control. So I'll be talking about the uh, self-control first. Uh, that um, because of we have three uh, components inside us that is id, ego and superego. And the id always drives us to uh, have immediate gratification. So I like this, I need this right now. So because of losing this self-control, People are committing cyber crime, people are bullying another, harassing another, people are threatening another, exchanging their uh, private photos or 
uh, threatening another, selling the photos with uh, in the market and earning money. So self-control is an important issue that people are unable to control their desire and that's why they fall prey and they are as a victim or they are committed crime. Social learning theory says that um, you learn crime um, by observing others and this is absolutely true. When you see that 70%, uh, 60% of the population who are using Facebook or social networking sites are usually using demean languages against any woman or girl, then you will feel like, okay, if they can do, why can't I? They are not getting proper punishment. So if I also put any derogatory remarks uh, against any woman or girl, then I will also not be uh, punished. So because of this, by observing others and by observing the um, uh, remarks, people are doing this. And another thing which is important is that our culture sometimes promote violence. Our culture sometimes promote, uh, you know, this uh sexual derogatory remarks upon women if we can look upon our uh, cinemas or movies both in bangladesh and india we can see that uh, women are actually portrayed as an object of sex so uh, people uh, have this concept inside them that it is our right and we can uh, put any derogatory remark upon them because uh, women are uh, an mere object and that's why because of the social learning process of the society and uh, this uh, practice of violence against women uh, the crimes are crime rates are rising general strength theory general strength theory is actually um, when someone uh, broke up or you know if you feel the way you are treated in a society this shouldn't be treated then an anger and frustration grows inside you and to outburst this anger and frustration people are attacking another people that you broke up with me the revenge porn we can relate with that that i have some intimate photos and videos of yours and um, you left me you are in another relationship so okay fine i will now spread this video into the internet so these are um, most important reason this revenge porn that uh, people the women and girls are becoming a uh, victim uh, day by day in a higher rate drift theory drift theory is denial of the injury and the victim you know in traditional crime, crime if someone uh, uh, died or someone got murdered or killed or if you grievously hurt someone you can see the blood you can see the injuries the marks but in this crime you can't see any injury you can't see any marks on the body of the victim because all the pressure they are suffering is mental the mental pressure is unbearable so the victim thinks that i didn't hurt anyone i didn't uh, uh, grievously hurt her or simple uh, or doing simple hurt towards her so this is not a crime actually but this denial is, is really dangerous because the victim suffers really badly uh, routine activity and lifestyle theory uh, our victimological theory actually put some duties upon every individual or i would say every victim that you should ensure your uh, security uh, whenever we are using any computer or device or any social networking apps we should use it uh, properly we should put our password in a secured way uh, uh, not something which is really common like our name birth date or something so uh, we, and we should use two sector uh, two step protector and uh, uh, verified code and everything so if someone wants to hack our facebook or our social networking site it's it will be really easier for that person if you don't protect ourselves so routine activity theory and lifestyle theory actually actually says that the victim that don't facilitate the offender 
uh, on your side don't do something which actually uh, make it easy for the offender to target you and to hurt you space transition theory space transition theory is uh, uh, clearly says that uh, for example uh, you abused me openly but i can't abuse you because of my social status or something because maybe you are my boss you have uh, you know uh, said something to me openly that i felt really uh, insulted but i can't say you so what will i will do i will uh, take the advantage of this cyber world and i will uh, outburst all my aggression and all my anger uh, through the computer i may create a false derogatory remarks uh, against you i will get a create a facebook or social networking apps against you and i will try to defame you in the society so it's like that when wherever you or i in the world i can use this weapon of internet and defame you whenever i want post modern sociological theory states that people are now living in a fantasy no we are thinking that this is the world this virtual world is everything doing makeups uh, going out having fun this is the life tiktok if we are talking about this apps that people want to be a celebrity nowadays so because of this many people are victimized recently in bangladesh uh, some teenage girl were raped by some boys because those girl went to the those boys to learn how to make tiktok so these are the things which actually reasons why the victims are victimized by the offender and rational choice theory is actually talking about some people are there as i have talked about that um, some people are committing cyber crime because of entertainment so it's your decision it's a decision of a person whether i will commit any crime or not so they took the decision that um, every person before committing any crime uh, outweigh the reasons that whether the pain is greater than the pleasure and for cyber crime always the offender founds the pleasure is greater than the pain because it will be difficult for the law enforcement agency to catch me that's why uh, people actually target uh, women or girl or another people via the internet and uh, they do whatever the illicit activities they want to do labeling theory is that whenever Uh, it's like a victim blaming connected to whenever a person as i have talked about this extortion that um, whenever uh, anyone become a victim of sex extortion the society uh, raises their voice against the women or girl so they put a label to the victim that you are a bad woman you are a bad girl um you defame your family you have uh, demolished the reputation of your family uh, your relatives so because of this label many many women and girls and victims are afraid to come forward to lodge a fi- uh, complaint or to go to the court or to face the consequences so the society should stop labeling the victims and should stop uh, victim blaming because until and unless the society doesn't help do, don't help the girls or victims it is very difficult for them to fight and i have found some laws relating to uh, sex extortion and this harassment and bullying uh, in india so yes uh, there is a criminal procedure code uh, that um, if someone thinks that uh, behavior of a person is not appropriate towards him or her he or she can directly go to the magistrate and uh, state her or his problems that these these, these are happening with me and i want to take an action against that person and then the penal code is there penal code uh, section 292 which is talking about the um, incrimination to anyone distribute obscene contents so it could be uh, through um, physically or it could be uh, nowadays and so cyber world is here so any content which should not be uh, distributed in the society 
so yes these are there and uh, voidism is important uh, voidism is not actually um, uh, expressly defined in the bangladeshi uh, laws it's like you are taking a picture of a woman without her consent it has been seen in bangladesh that uh, in the changing rooms of the stores or market supermarket uh, in the cctv camera there shouldn't be any cctv camera in the changing room however small cameras has been installed in, installed so that when a woman changes her clothes those clippings can be taken so it has been found that one a sales boy actually installed a camera in the um uh, store room changing room and he collected videos of women and he, his colleagues and then he uh, started uh, threatening the colleague that um in exchange of sex if you don't listen to me i'll spread your photos so in bangladesh these are all you know deals with uh, pornography control act but it's good that uh, the indian penal code is uh, much developed and they are uh successfully identified the small issues and every aspects of offenses that are committed against the women uh jammu and kashmir have their own laws for this and uh, i found a very good piece of law for india that is the information technology act 2000 that has been amended in 2008 and a bill maybe has recently been passed for changing some of the sections so uh, section 66 section 67 there are some uh, uh, components which are really important that is publishing or transmitting of material containing sexually explicit act uh, it could be an against it could be against any children also so stalking are, is also there which is really important that uh, if you are stalking someone in the internet this is also an offense moreover i found another piece of law which is really good that uh, if i share my intimate photos or images with you and i don't want this images to be spread to another people or any third person and if you sp- spread this without the consent of mine that would also be count as an offense so this is really important i think because of this the victim blaming will be stopped that um, uh, because it's a freedom of someone that which photos they will be taking or not and then uh, transmitting these uh, photos and uh, asking for any sorts of favor will be stopped and these are dealing with the information technology act which is very good and yes um, also the ipc is talking about the i have I just i have said stalking and defamation i have all, uh, already discussed about this so these act have their own uh, punishment terms uh, they are using the punishments and uh, i don't remember all the punishments but these are the sections that are actually dealing with these sorts of crimes uh, in india uh, they have the online safety hub where you can file an fir which is really um, good and then the government have taken initiatives uh, they are focusing on cyber crime and they are creating numerous helpline centers for the victims of sex extortion and blackmailing there are national emergency helpline numbers uh, on which uh, the victims can actually uh, complain and they can seek justice and seek help uh case laws as the crime we don't have much time i just want to mention one case that is majish k matthew versus state of kerala uh here as i have said earlier that one man actually uh took a photo of a couple and put this uh, with a caption obscene caption and the court has uh, declared that this is actually a sexual harassment this is a sexually bullying content so by the way, this we can understand that uh, it's it's not so easy that you will uh, express anything or you can do anything over the uh, virtual world so uh, people really have to be behave in a good manner and they shouldn't hurt anyone and they shouldn't use any picture of another person without the consent of another because this will fall under the sexual 
harassment and there are many other cases of um, uh, harassment uh, journalists work that and when the me too trend happens and then um, other incidents are there in case of bangladesh uh, if i am talking about uh, bangladesh is uh, there are two or three pieces of uh, laws that are uh, that are dealing with these issues number one is a uh, digital security act 2018 so before we have the information technology act 2006 I, which we call this ICT Act and then uh, this act has uh, some of the sections are still there but then uh, with the advent of uh, new crimes and to combat these crimes we made the Digital Security Act. Uh, Section 24 talks about the identity fraud that uh, yeah, as I have said that if someone is using my photo and name and he created a Facebook and he adds some people so this is this then we will tell that this is an identity fraud and then uh, section 25 uh, if someone sends me offensive messages offensive contents and threatening me then this will fall under section 25 uh, punishment for unauthorized collection and use if someone uh, you know collect my personal information and uh, transmit them this will also be fallen under the crime uh, and then section 29 deals with cyber defamation so this defamation if this defamation are doing via the internet then deal, this is a cyber defamation and section 34 deals with hacking all of this can be related with section 34 of the digital security act because uh, it has been seen that many people learn hacking because of uh, some legal purpose and some people are using it for illegal purpose or they are doing it for illegal means pornography control act we have in the act of 2012 uh, section 4 prohibit us for making or preserving any pornography it's like you are not spreading them but you have it with your own then it's it could be also a crime section 8 uh, deals with all the punishments that if you are uh, making any pornography uh, against the consent of the any man women or child then this is a crime if we you threat any person uh, to extort uh, money or any sort of favor against the person and if you said if you don't uh, do this then i'll spread this I'll spread your photo and the punishment is really a nominal you know it's like five years of rigorous imprisonment i think this punishment should be raised because whenever you are pressuring someone or coerce someone by threatening them that i will spread your photos it's actually like uh, you are mentally attacking the person and the mental pressure is unbearable that's why i think the punishment should be raised uh, section uh, 8 subsection 6 deals with uh, child pornography so if any person making child pornography the person will be also be uh, have to face uh, punishment which is may i think it's seven years of rigorous imprisonment uh, penal codes are there extortion and criminal intimidation which is like uh, threatening someone and extracting money from them or threatening someone and uh, by threatening them you are uh, uh, forcing the person to do whatever you would like them to do um, there are many cases and i'm not uh, going to discuss all of them some incident has been uh, recently uh, it has been uh, saying that husbands are actually you know uh, spreading the intimate pictures of their wives boyfriends are spreading uh, intimate pictures of their wives um, another case just happened here that uh, one boy who actually you know uh, like um, promise upon Quran that I am marrying you and then started living the uh, with the girl and then he uh, took pictures and he made videos of their private moments and later on when the girl said him that now we should be married um, legally the boy started threatening her that if you don't comply with my words or uh, if you say anyone that we have um, married that i have promised upon quran that we are married then i will be spreading your photos 
so uh, i think this is a weapon actually using against the women or girl to um, ops um, to just uh, bind them or to just control them or uh, making them feeling inferior in the society uh, so preventive measures i think in case of preventive measures uh, we should handle our social medias diligently we shouldn't put each and every information of our, our, our private information in the social media um, before clicking any website or link we should uh, understand that whether it is really important or not or um, this may contain some malware or this may have some uh, such content which can extract my personal information or by this my account can be hacked so we should be very careful about this we shouldn't give our personal information there are many apps uh, which actually tells that allow your gallery allow your contacts allow your personal information and we shouldn't never allow this because we don't know which app will take our personal information and use it, using them uh, this against us uh, if you are already victim then i will uh, suggest that uh, don't just if someone is threatening you that i will spread your photos if the person is a stranger or not uh, if he is not a stranger then the thing is uh, not so easy but if the thing uh, person is stranger then what you should do uh, you could just uh, stop contacting with the person but don't delete your account uh, capture or preserve all the evidences and then you should go to the uh, law enforcement agencies and give them all the evidences so that they can help you to recover your account or they can help you to capture the uh, offender um, and uh, people should stop fearing humiliation because if um, we fear that uh, our photos will be leaked and that then the offender will be feeling more powerful so we should we should absolutely seek legal help uh, from the uh, uh, law enforcement authority and in case of emergency i think in, in india and bangladesh we have a national hotline numbers where we can seek help uh, as i have said india have their own uh, hotline numbers and india have their own hub where they are uh, giving help to women and in Bangladesh, we have different helpline numbers. Uh, they are 109, which is specially dealing with the crimes against women and children. Triple uh, nine emergency number. Uh, there are police cyber support for women. Uh, this branch is specially created recently, specially created to give support for women who are victimized through the uh, cyber space. And then we have our CID cyber police who are very active and uh, of course the ctdc dmp who captured many of the offenders who are uh, members of the organized uh, pornography group uh, so yes these are the number and uh, if anyone uh, fallen a victim they could have uh, seek help from this and lastly i would like to sum up by saying that uh, you know before sharing any of our content uh, before giving them any information of us or even using the uh, social media we should keep in mind that once we have put a single image in the internet this image cannot be deleted or this image cannot be removed uh, anywhere in the internet or anywhere in the system this images or information will be public so we shouldn't uh, create any video or we shouldn't click any picture we we what we think is not safe for us or will be harmful for us in the future uh, so our security is in our hand so we should secure ourselves and if uh, uh, unfortunately if we uh, get uh, victimized then we should obviously seek help from the uh, consent authority thank you Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. बहुत अच्छा सेशन और क्योंकि साइबर क्राइम पे आप करा वैसे तो टाइम हो गया है, but मैं चाहूँगा रिक्वेस्ट करूँगा आपके लिए कि कुछ क्वेश्चंस हैं उसका आंसर आप देंगे। Okay, sure.
मेंटल डिस Uh, these people think that whatever they are doing, and uh, this their action is justified. But it's uh, the number is not uh, much. Uh, mentally disordered person maybe are few, but uh, majority of the people are doing this because they think they will be not uh, catch easily or they'll be not punished uh, swiftly. That's why they are actually doing this. But yes, some people are out there who are also who are always uh, want a chance to demean someone or to de- uh, pass a derogatory comment upon someone. A uh, criminological theories are uh, maybe helpful to uh, uh, get the answer of this question. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Neha Midha, ma'am, has a question. How a person save himself for series of sexual attempts by a lady or gang in the uh, department? Ah, uh, can you please just repeat the question? How? Uh, uh, how a person save himself from series of sexual attempts by a lady or gang in the department? Okay, okay, I understand. This is not actually a, a question relating to the topic, but however, I would like to give an answer. Uh, irrespective of gender, it could be a woman, or it, the offender could be a woman, or the offender could be a man. Um, so I think uh, they should first consult uh, with the family. Uh, the victim should be um, talking with his family first, uh, uh, and then because family backup is really necessary, family support is really necessary, and then uh, they should uh, complain to the HR department. and i think firstly uh, they should be clear with the offender that i am not comfortable with your action i am not ready to do any compromise thing with you and uh, if he or she feels that uh, this may impact his job then he or she should con- collect some evidences that the person was trying to doing against him or her and then he should talk to the higher authority or to the hr department about this issues and if he or she finds that nothing is working and then the last resort is absolutely to seek help from the police and legal authority persons thank you ma'am thank you so much and bk gupta ji ka ek prashna hai cyber bullying is cyber attack can it affect male fellow also Yes, absolutely. Cyber bullying. Uh, people are when someone bullies uh, some people. If it is not gender biased crime, then uh, as I have said that uh, Sakib Al Hasan has been bullied because of her daughter and wife, and then you know uh, maybe um, for example celebrities like Karan Johar has been bullied. Uh, there are other people who can be bullied. So. it's like when someone is not uh portraying himself as a conventional way if you find someone is little bit different then you pass a remark on that person so males are also victim of cyber bullying in fact they are also victim of cyber extortion thank you so much ma'am alsi ji ka question hai ma'am again how can you sexual harassment different from sex torture okay uh, i have said i think that these uh, crimes are interconnected cyber harassment is that i am sending you some um, obscene uh, messages i am sending you some obscene c- content uh, but sexual sex torture is i have some of your intimate images and videos it could be fake it could be real but i have those in my possession i i can use this if you are not convey the way i want to be con- uh, controlled you so harassment is 
you know i have taken one of your picture and post it with a bad caption i have taken one of your pictures and i have post it in a um, you know um, uh, in such a site when uh, call girls can be hired so this is cyber harassment but cyber extortion is i have something uh, against you it could be a photo image or video and i will use it if you don't comply with my uh, decision thank you ma'am thank you so much ghansham uh, dasgar ji ka ek prashn hai ma'am is flooding like in kapil sharma so crime or thought entertaining yeah can you please repeat the question this is really interesting like ha uh, Yes, reading like in Kapil Sharma so crime or thought entertaining. Ah, uh, I didn't hear you properly. It's is it like they are Kapil Sharma show? They are trolling many people. So whether it it is defamation or something? Yes, 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 ma'am. Okay, okay. So they are doing is out of entertainment, and I don't think uh, they are to uh, be defamation. There are certain um uh, components which need to be the fulfilled first of all when you are uh, filing a complaint uh, of defamation against a person you have to show that your reputation and social status have been injured because of this statement if you can't prove this element you can't prove defamation so uh, whoever feel that uh, his social status and his uh, reputation has been injured by this statement that has been uh, outspoken or taken in the kapil sharma show i think he or she can uh, file a defamation case but uh, in this entertainment industry i don't think they will uh, you know <laughs> do such thing because people are taking this um, sportly or in a sportsman spirit i think thank you so much ma'am uh, फॉर दम to make us a uh, victim so as i have said if we are using any social networking sites we should keep our private information limited restricted now we should use two step authentication verification and a password system or oh, we shouldn't click anything uh, that we don't know whether it is a malware or not and uh, then uh, in case of uh, offender Uh, i think uh, the law enforcement agencies are uh, it's their duty to catch the offenders speedily and uh, to punish them so that uh, it raises a fear among the other offenders that um, the law enforcement agencies are doing their uh, work uh, properly so if i do the same thing i'll be punished also so these are the thing we can do on our side and if we are fall a victim of cyber extortion or blackmailing then i think we should also not fear of uh, uh, losing our reputation rather we should speak up uh, make a complaint against the offender and seek help from the uh, criminal justice system thank you ma'am nilke mm-hmm. gupta ji ka prashna is there any international effort to control cyber crime linked to sexual assault okay uh international effort yes um as we are saying you know the digital security act of bangladesh or the pornography control act for example of bangladesh have uh, a provision in their uh, clause in their act that uh, um, what is uh, if any person inside if any citizen of bangladesh commits any crime with the victim of a foreign nation then bangladesh can uh, try the offense 
or any citizen uh, who commit the crime outside the Bangladesh and that country if deports the per person in Bangladesh then Bangladesh can try the person. So it's a uh, concept of extraterritorial jurisdiction. Uh, so if uh, the offender and the victim countries have uh, treaties among them or if it falls under the customary uh, law uh, then I think um, um, we can try any offender under our national law. Moreover, yes, um, as Bangladesh's uh, police forces got training from the, um, you know, from the foreign officers and the foreign law enforcement agencies uh, to reach their, uh, to reach their, um, you know, uh, investigation system and catch the offenders. I think my connection. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. हम सुन पा रहे हैं आपको. No issue. Oh. आप mute हो गए हैं. Please unmute कर लें. अच्छा अच्छा. Okay, ठीक है. Um, I think my video has gone, but my audio is there. Oh, audio clear. Yes. Okay, thank uh, you. Laptop Next connection. Yes. No issue. Next question, ma'am. Kavya Ahuja ji का है. अभी जो इशूज चल रही है व्हाट्सएप के रिगार्डिंग उसी से रिलेटेड है इज द न्यू व्हाट्सएप पॉलिसी केम एंड दे सेट आइडर एक्सेप्ट द टर्म एंड सर्विस और लॉज द एक्सेस टू चैट इज इट ए साइबर फोन इज मोस्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट मॉडल्स आर कनेक्टिंग टू व्हाट्सएप ओके आई नो आई नो अबाउट द डिबेट दैट हैज बीन यू नो दैट हैज बीन कंटिन्यूइंग नाउ इट इज आई थिंक these issues has just been raised and um, people are trying to identify what whatsapp are trying to do whether accept their conditions will they extort or all, all our informations and uh, images or not because we all know that uh, compared to facebook uh, whatsapp was more secure place where we can uh, talk or exchange our uh, information so i think yes experts are trying to still identify the uh, exact reasons and exact thing that what whatsapp are trying to do so i think we should uh, wait a bit to discover what the actual thing is thank you ma'am ek question hai ma'am how can we cope up with those situation in crime in our daily life issues I think I have uh, answered this already. Uh, preventive measures, yes. Nagarajan K J K question, ma'am. Difference in morality between present and past generation may be explained. Ah, uh, उनका एक submission था. I think question नहीं था. Okay. Yeah. Um, past and present generation it's like you know people are uh, past generation people are doing if teasing by standing in a corner of a road and nowadays people teased uh, the women and girl and bullied people on this virtual network so things are the same but the fashion or the method have been changed but the mentality and the nature of the offenses are same Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Supriti ji. Ka ek question hai. Do cyber bullying victims and perpetrators fit any stereotypical profile? Ah, uh, can you please repeat the question? I'm sorry. Um, do cyber bullying victims and perpetrators fit any stereotypical profile? It does the uh, do the offenders have any stereotypical profile or not? Yes. Well, no, we can't say that because uh, you know we never know whose whose its intention is what. You know, a person, a um, man who is very faithful to his wife, who shows that he is very faithful, uh, a loving husband and a father. Because, but that man could also be very harmful for a office colleague of him. so actually i don't think we can say who's going going to be do what 
because um, I have uh, be because earlier I have said there are many reasons and because of anger and frustration or sexual desire um, it could be any time in life that anyone can become a victim as well as an offender um, so I don't think we can prof in a stereotypical profiling them right now it, it, it's my uh, you know, it's absolutely my thinking. Thank you so much, ma'am. Hemo Ram Sahu Ji ka question ma'am. Hindi mein hai unka. Unka ye puchna hai ki WhatsApp mein other social sites mein galat messages unko aata hai ya kisi ko aata hai. Us pe kisi ko us par complain karne pe unko saja ho sakti hai. Kya aata hai? Yes, yes, yes. If someone sending you obscene messages or content, you can take legal ac action. There has been law laws. The penal code is there. The ICT Act is there, and both of these laws are dealing with the same thing. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ashish Jacob Ji has question, ma'am. How to make children aware of knowledge all those situations? How to tackle with the younger suffering from the type of Exploitation. Some of the them goes to depression and maybe commit suicide. Yes, yes. So I have um, actually this is ha what happening, and it this is a global issue. Yes, and this is not an issue about the India, Bangladesh, or Indian subcontinent like Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and all. Uh, it's like uh, in fact the um, minors of USA. Uh, they have found that many minors attempted to commit suicide, not even minors, adult people also. Because it's something that uh, they, they think that they have made a mistake. And if they open up with their parents, their parents will blame them. School teachers will blame them. Friends will blame them. And that's why they are actually... Um, keep the uh, sufferings uh, between uh, inside them uh, so i think uh, the family should be very um, uh, you know friendly with uh, the children so that the parents can know each and every step of their children what they are doing um, by this i think uh, if the parents can make a friendly relationship with their children they can help them up in a better way so yes it's actually uh, the basic education should start from the family and the parents should make their children uh, parents should ensure their children that whatever you do in your life we are there to help you uh, and we're there to fight together rather than blaming the child for whatever have, has happened thank you ma'am um उसकी सेशन को कंक्लूड करने के साथ में लेकिन मैं लास्ट में एक दो क्वेश्चंस और लूंगा मैम आपकी परमिशन से संतोष पात्रा जी को उपस्थित हूं मैम रिपोर्ट से ड्यूरिंग कोविड-19 पेंडेमिक लॉकडाउन पीरियड ए नंबर ऑफ सेक्सुअल अब्यूज अकर्ड वेदर दोस वेयर कंट्रोल्ड इफ प्रॉपर लॉ इनएक्टेड लॉज आर देयर 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 इज नथिंग रॉन्ग विद द लॉज हां वी हैव सफिशिएंट लॉज but uh, in corona pandemic uh, both in the virtual life and in offline uh, violence have been raised in case of domestic violence in fact uh, we can see in during the corona pandemic several rape incidents are also happened so i am not going to blame the laws rather i am going to say that people are becoming restless Become, people are becoming uh, so hilarious that they don't care about the laws and anything. Uh, and because uh, there is a research, uh, I don't know the name, but a survey that have uh, concluded that uh, during the corona pandemic, uh, after losing jobs, uh, many people become frustrated and they uh, outburst their frustration upon the uh vulnerable ones uh, i mean the uh, women or children or to such a person who cannot you know um, have much strength to control or face the offender thank you so much ma'am ab hum session ko samapt karenge one last aapki suggestion chahunga ma'am cyber crime ko prevent karne ke liye especially girls and women ke liye 
कोई टिप्स वैसे तो आप अपनी पीपीटी में बहुत सारा टिप्स बताएं तो एक बार और आप आपसे मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कुछ टिप्स आप दें ताकि अपने आप को प्रिवेंट करके आ, अपने आप को सेफ रख पाए ओके सो लास्टली आई वॉन्ट टू इन माई कंक्लूशन आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट uh we have it is if it is your boyfriend even if it is your husband whoever it is because uh, we can't say uh, what the relationship would be in the future so how much do you love him in present really doesn't matter because of your own safety and your own reputation don't make or click any content that will be harmful for you in the near future number 2 uh in case of using social networking sites please restrict your uh, personal informations uh that uh, don't give frequent check ins that i am going here with uh, these this this friends i am going there with this 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 friends because if there is any motivated offender who is waiting to uh, attack you in a vulnerable situation of yours that person can make a chart then uh, what you are doing in a whole day so please don't uh, you know give information to anyone that uh, they can use this information against you um, before uh, posting any photo we should know that uh, who who's the audience is and that i am i doing it uh, publicly posting it publicly or with within friends so um, these are the things and uh, we can prevent any crime that has been committed against us and again i want to say i know it's really difficult for any victim of cyber extortion basically that to open up or to complain because there's always a fear of losing reputation whatever i say or anyone say really doesn't matter i know what the offender can feel or uh, have to go through so uh, just uh, so sh- show some you know braveness and complain against the offender keep faith and uh, that's it thank you so much ma'am bahut bahut dhanyawad ma'am uh, itni detail mein extortion cyber crime ke related aapne information diya aur uh, hamari audience ko bahut acha laga aur aapne bahut detail mein ekdam brief mein is baat pe is टॉपिक पे लोग बात करना नहीं चाहते बट आपने इतनी अच्छी डिस्कशन की और क्वेश्चन सारे क्वेश्चन का आपने आंसर दिया इसके लिए मैं अभाव फाउंडेशन की ओर से और सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स की ओर से आपका धन्यवाद करूंगा मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम और पार्टिसिपेंट से मेरा रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा अगर आप भी और भी आप सेशन चाहते हैं ऐसे टाइप का तो प्लीज हमें सजेस्ट करिए ऐसे कोई सेशन है जो हमें करानी होगी वैसे हम दो सेशन जो है फोर्थ नाइट में कराने का प्रयास करते हैं कि योगा पे और एक साइबर क्राइम से तो हम और भी सेशन जो हैं वो कराते रहेंगे हम प्रयास करेंगे मैम से समय लेके उनको फिर से हम बुलाएं और कुछ और टॉपिक पे उनसे डिस्कशन करें इंफॉर्मेशन देने का प्रयास करें आज की इंफॉर्मेशन बहुत अच्छी रहे मैम बहुत अच्छी लोगों के लिए बहुत यूजफुल रहा स्पेशली वुमेन और गर्ल्स के लिए और मुझे लगता है कि हर दूसरा फीमेल वुमेन जो है ये ये सारी साइबर क्राइम के शिकार अभी हैं बट वो रिपोर्ट नहीं हो पा रही है और हम ऐसे करके अवेयरनेस के लोगों तक के पहुंचा के हम प्रिवेंट करने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं ये हमारा थोड़ा सा उन लोगों के प्रति हमारा सहयोग होगा और ऐसा कर पाए ये हमारे लिए अपनी खुशी होगी तो अगेन मैं अभाव फाउंडेशन की ओर से सभी पार्टिसिपेंट्स की ओर से आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करूंगा थैंक thank you so much ma'am thank you i i would like to thank you because you gave me such a huge platform to discuss this issues i would like to thank the abhav foundation and especially you thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you so much uh, participants mera aap sabhi se request rahega ki please aap uh, feedback form to fill kare saath hi saath hamare futures mein bhi bahut sari webinar jo hai already listed hai to aap us pe bhi registration kare aur hamari youtube channel ko aap जरूर सब्सक्राइब करें वीडियो को लाइक करें और बेल आइकन को प्रेस करें ताकि आने वाली अपकमिंग वीडियोस है वो आप तक के पहुंच पाए और हम और आप सभी एक प्लेटफॉर्म में आके जो भी इंफॉर्मेशन हम देने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं वो आप सभी तक के आपके फ्रेंड्स तक के पहुंच पाए मैंने जैसा कि पहले भी बताया कि हमें आप कोई टॉपिक पे वेबिनार करनी है उस टॉपिक के रिगार्डिंग आप हमें सजेशन दे सकते हैं डिफरेंट फॉरम ई के थ्रू हमारे व्हाट्सएप नंबर में ऑलरेडी हमारी रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक में होती है 
तो मैं आप सभी से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा आप हमें व्हाट्सएप के माध्यम से भी आप मैसेज कर सकते हैं हम प्रयास करेंगे कि जल्द से जल्द हम व्यक्ति का से कनेक्ट करके वो टॉपिक कवर करें तो अब इसी आशा के साथ और विश्वास के साथ कि आप लोग ने आज मैम की बताई हुई इन्फॉर्मेशन से बहुत कुछ सीखा है और आगे उससे अपने ऊपर अपने फैमिलीज को अपने फ्रेंड्स को और सोसाइटी को ये इन्फॉर्मेशन जो है वो शेयर करेंगे इन्हीं विश्वास के साथ मैं आप सभी का भी धन्यवाद करूंगा थैंक यू सो मच अब हम आज की कोड जो है और लिंक जो है वो शेयर करेंगे और हमारी कोड और लिंक जो है वो दोनों शेयर हो चुकी है कमेंट बॉक्स में तो आप प्लीज आपसे रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा कि आप अटेंडिंग फॉर्म फिल करें ताकि हम आप आपको सर्टिफिकेट आपके रजिस्टर्ड ईमेल आईडी पे हम पहुंचा सके आ, हमारा व्हाट्सएप नंबर ट्रिपल नाइन थ्री डबल जीरो नाइन फाइव डबल जीरो है हमारी कल भी वेबिनार है इम्पोर्टेंट वेबिनार है कल की टॉपिक के बारे में मैं आप सभी को बताना चाहूंगा कल है क्रिएट यूर सक्सेस स्टोरी थ्रू एन एल पी मिस अश्वनी दास गुप्ता मैम हमारे साथ मुंबई से जुड़ेंगी ट्रांसनेशनल कोच इंटरप्रीनर फ्रॉम मुंबई थैंक यू सो मच पार्टिसिपेंट्स भी मैम आपको बहुत सारी थैंक यू धन्यवाद बोल रहे हैं कमेंट बॉक्स में इसके लिए भी आपको सभी हमारे ऑडियंस की तरफ से पार्टिसिपेंट्स की तरफ से आपको धन्यवाद महिपाल सिंह जी थैंक यू सो मच मोहम्मद सिद्दीकी जी मैडम को थैंक यू बोल रही थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू एवरीवन बहुत सारे ऑडियंस मैम जो आपको थैंक यू बोल रहे हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम इवन मेरे व्हाट्सएप पे भी मैसेज आ रही है वहां भी बहुत सारी जो है आपके लिए थैंक यू आ रही है क्योंकि इस टॉपिक पे हम लोगों ने फर्स्ट टाइम टच किया साइबर क्राइम तो हम टच करते थे बट ये टॉपिक बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है और लोगों तक की इसकी इंफॉर्मेशन जरूर पहुंचनी चाहिए और आज हमने प्रयास किया और आपसे कनेक्ट होकर हम पहुंचा पाए ये हमारे लिए एक बहुत बड़ा अवसर रहा थैंक यू कैन आई लीव यस थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम अगेन थैंक यू सो मच पार्टिसिपेंट मेरा रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा कि आप फीडबैक फॉर्म जरूर फिल कर लें हम प्रयास करेंगे कि फिर मैम से कनेक्ट करें कनेक्ट करने के बाद में उनसे टाइम लेके और भी कुछ सेशन कुछ दूसरे टॉपिक पे डिफरेंट टॉपिक पे हम जरूर प्रयास करें बांग्लादेश और इंडिया के कुछ लॉज जो है वो कॉमन है क्योंकि आईपीसी जैसे कि 1960s में आई तो वो इंडिया पाकिस्तान और सभी जगह सेम थी उसमें अमेंडमेंट हुई है वो सारी चीज सेम थी तो हम उस पर भी कर हो, कवर होते हैं और जैसे साइबर लॉज है साइबर लॉज ऑलमोस्ट सेक्शन वाइज अलग अलग हो सकती हैं बस उनकी इसी को दी सेम होती है तो इस कारण से हर एक कंट्री में जो है साइबर लॉ की अलग अलग लॉज आई हुई है अभी तक के जो सबसे स्ट्रांग लॉ हुआ बोला जा सकता है जो यूरोपियन यूनियन की लॉ है तो इंडिया भी उसमें कुछ ड्रॉप लाई है बट अभी तक के वो ना लोकसभा में ना राज्यसभा में ना ही कोई बिल के रूप में आ पाई है तो थैंक यू सो मच अंबु काशी जी थैंक यू सो मच गुप्त मेकोन जी थैंक यू राजी डांडे जी नाइस थैंक यू नागराजन सर नागराजन सर फीडबैक लिंक ऑलरेडी आप देखेंगे कमेंट्स बॉक्स के आप जहां पे कमेंट किए हैं उसी के ऊपर फीडबैक फॉर्म की लिंक है तो अटेंडेंस फॉर्म अटेंडेंस फॉर्म प्लस फीडबैक फॉर्म आपको उसको फिल करना है उसके बाद ही आपको सर्टिफिकेट आपके रजिस्टर्ड ईमेल आई तक पहुंच पाएगी तो मेरा रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा कि प्लीज आप फीडबैक फॉर्म फिल कर लें कोई क्वेरीज है कोई क्वेश्चन है या कुछ सजेशन है तो आप हमारे व्हाट्सएप नंबर में मैसेज करिए हम प्रयास करेंगे कि जल्द से जल्द आपकी जो सजेशन है क्वेश्चन है क्योरीज है उसका हम आंसर दें और 
तो अगर कोई सजेशन है वेबिनार करने की तो हम जल्द से जल्द प्रयास करेंगे कोई गेस्ट स्पीकर को हम कनेक्ट करके कि उस पर भी हम एक सेशन डिलीवर कराएं आज की भी सेशन हमारे लिए हमारे ऑडियंस ने सजेस्ट किया था इसीलिए हमने ये आज की वेबिनार ऑर्गेनाइज किए थे इवन कल की भी जो हुई हमारी वेबिनार वो भी एक सजेशन पर आधारित था तो आप सभी से मेरा पुनः रिक्वेस्ट रहेगा कि आप हमें सजेस्ट करें ना अब हम फिर कल ही इस समय मिलेंगे पांच बजे फिर से तब तक के लिए आप सभी को नमस्कार थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच परे कृपया आप इन लाइव कर दें